What is going on, you moon-headed mascots? I am Chris, and today on Nostalgia Dig, we are going to be looking at a bag of toys I got from an antique mall. And this is the second of two bags that I've gotten from this antique mall, which is a really interesting place. Much like the first bag, many of the toys in here are kind of dirty, <laughs> which they're very well played with. So that kind of makes them better for me. So without further ado, let's dig in. Okay. Here we have, all right, it looks like the Warner Brothers water tower, a version of it. So Animaniacs, I think, because they, they lived in the Warner Brothers water tower from what I remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that. So, hmm. Looks like this opens. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. So they're on like a log flume, just flying out of the side of it. And there's this uh, tube. So a few videos ago, it must have been from the same Animaniac series because it was the pigeons and a fire truck. And it had this same tube type effect that kind of elongated the truck. And I think that's really clever. I've actually never seen that on any other figures before. It's pretty cool that they did something different. And this one's really fun. It's very beat up. It's dirty. The sticker's gone. The design of it gets high marks from me. It says copyright 1994 Warner Brothers. It snaps back in like that. <laughs> I really like it. That's really cool. Fun. Okay. Next we have these, which I believe are constructs, because I used to have this when I was a kid. It's like a building set. You snapped these little pieces in to the joints. They snapped in like that. And then you build whatever you want. Uh, I had a set, these joints were kind of like glow in the dark. They weren't orange like this. They were sort of like a light green color that, and they glowed. And I think my set was sort of outer space themed, possibly. I really liked them and I feel like people, I don't know if they don't remember them or if they just got overshadowed by other things like Connects and Lego and other building systems. But as a kid, I was very much into constructs. <laughs> So this is just kind of a cool little memento to remind me of that fun set. I don't know if I still have any of those. They may have gotten passed on or donated or something like that. So I don't, I may have little pieces here and there, but yeah, neat constructs. <laughs> okay. Next we have Mr. Chuck E. Cheese and I, I would assume that the only place you could get a Chuck E. Cheese figure is at an actual Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. I think I've only ever been to one one time in my life because we didn't have one anywhere real close to where I grew up. The closest one would have been Buffalo, New York, which like an hour and a half from where I grew up. So we didn't get up there that often. But I do remember going in there, maybe playing a couple of games. I don't know if we even ate there. I think we might have just gone in just to walk around and play a game or two just to have the experience of being there. It says copyright 1982 Pizza Time Theater. Wow. 82. So this is a, an older figure too. I'm not even sure if Chuck E. Cheese still exists. I, I don't remember the last time I saw one. It very well could. This is a fun little very very specific figure, like specific to one restaurant. I like it. Charles E. Cheese. <laughs> All right, looks like we have another kid's meal toy here. This one I think is from Tiny Toons. I seem to remember this character being a Tiny Toons character, but I, I remember very little else about it, about it. But here it seems to be writing a uh, some sort of giant tricycle or velocipede or something with uh, little ones. I don't know if that's 
their children in the wheel, maybe running around to propel it or just going for a ride. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun design. Copyright 92, Warner Brothers. So that makes sense. Uh, Tiny Toons was a little bit before Animaniacs, from what I remember. I don't know how much crossover there was there, but pretty close. I remember them both being on. I do think I have maybe one or two others from this series with um, maybe like a Hampton and Plucky situation. Cool. Okay, next we have a figure from The Lion King. It's like another kid's meal type toy. I know that Disney jumped back and forth between Burger King and McDonald's for their kid's meal stuff for a while. So I don't know. It'll probably say on there. Also, it's been so long since I've seen Lion King and I don't know it like really, really well. So I'm not sure if this is Simba or Mufasa. I honestly don't know what their visual distinctions are. I know Simba is a is a cub towards the beginning more, but does become an adult lion at some point. Copyright Disney manufactured for Burger King. Okay. So so I'm guessing during the Disney Renaissance era they were in with Burger King. Now you know what? I think the Hercules ones were McDonald's though. So they I think they jumped back and forth at will. <laughs> Just probably I don't even know what the behind-the-scenes like business of that would be if McDonald's or Burger King offers money to Disney for the promotion and they bid on it or something. If you know anything more about that, let me know in the comments because that's something that's something I would be interested to know. Here we go, an adult lion from the Lion King. <laughs> Not Scar. I know it's not Scar. Yeah, cool. Okay. Here we have a... Chris Sandwich, I guess? With a face. <laughs> Happy. Hungry, looks like. Don't know what a Chris Sandwich eats. Copyright 1989. Graphics International. Graphics International. No McDonald's, no Burger King. I honestly, I, I'm not a really big fast food person. I don't even remember who had the Chris Sandwich or if multiple places did. But this seems to be like an advertising campaign in the form of a toy aimed at a child <laughs> for a Chris Sandwich. It's got wheels. It's a little car. It doesn't wind up or anything. It's just like a little little rolling car. <laughs> it's funny. I like stuff like this. <laughs> All right, next we have a dirty little Snoopy. It's like a farmer Snoopy. He's made to be holding on to something. He's leaning on his fence, observing the livestock <laughs> or something. <laughs> Not sure. No information on him. Might be part of a bigger set of things. Maybe it came in a kid's meal situation. Not really sure. Yeah, little dirty farmer Snoopy. And staying in that same theme, we have Snoopy and Charlie Brown riding on a very large skateboard. It's cute, too. It looks like the axle's broken or something down here. Could probably glue that back on. Snoopy pretending to be the Red Baron. Is that who he? When he sat on his doghouse and pretended it was a he was a fighter pilot. I feel like I I grew up seeing Peanuts stuff, so I'm familiar with it. But it was never. It was always just specials. It was on around the holidays, and it was in the newspaper in the comics section. I always liked it, but I was never like a huge Peanuts fan, and I feel like that still today. I generally have good feelings about Peanuts, but they're not like my absolute favorite thing. And I know there's some people that are absolute diehard Peanuts fans. Absolutely adore them. And I do get it. It's a very, it's a very sweet comic strip and fun. But it's uh, something I've never really connected with in a deep way. 
So this says, Aviva, made in Hong Kong. Aviva, I haven't heard that one yet. So I don't know if this is a kid's meal thing or just something from a store. Not sure. More uh, dirty peanuts merchandise. <laughs> Next, we have this little gentleman. This feels very different to me. This doesn't feel like a toy so much as a, like a figurine that you would buy in a gift shop, maybe. It's made out of something different. It, it might still be plastic, but it feels like it could be plaster. I don't know if you can see like the grain on the bottom here. I think that might be plaster. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know anything about this type of stuff. This really feels like a gift shop item, possibly a dollar store type item. It's made to be more of a knickknack than a toy, if that if there's a distinction there. Yeah, interesting. And finally, So, in the last video, there were a couple of McDonald's transformer type things that changed from a food item into either a robot or, in one case, a dinosaur. <laughs> so, we have one more of these. I'm very excited. <laughs> and this really, this really feels dated. I don't even know if this is still on the menu. So, hotcakes and sausage. So this would have been just a styrofoam container of, of pancakes and sausage that you would have gotten during breakfast hours. You know, packaging has changed through the years. We don't really have these big styrofoam things anymore, which is good. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> let's see what this guy turns into. <laughs> He's wonderful. He is a robot that turns into a styrofoam container of hotcakes and sausage. Just saying those words is just a beautiful thing. <laughs> uh, he's great. I think I like him even more than the, the burger from the last one. The actual robot part and the concept of him turning into hotcakes is funny too. Copyright 1988 McDonald's Corporation. A lot of times McDonald's Happy Meal toys or Kids Meal toys in general are advertising for another company, but I like it when they stay with their own IPs, you know, <laughs> their own um, brand, just as a little bit of self-advertising and just for fun. I'm not really sure if they still do anything like that anymore, but we have these to remember. <laughs> yep, there he is in there, hiding, waiting to come out. <laughs> and that is it. Those two bags of things were my finds at the antique mall. They were literally the cheapest things in the entire place that I found. <laughs> but they're also the thing, kind of things I was looking for. They were just kind of up by the counter, bags of old dirty toys. <laughs> and uh, they had cool stuff there that was way more expensive, but this is the stuff that speaks to me a lot of times. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, I encourage you to subscribe. That helps a lot. And if you are subscribed, just watching the videos helps me very much. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next dig.